So we're going to play a game that involves finding different shapes around the house. You think you can do that? Yes! Okay, yes. awesome. So the first shape that we're going to look for is a square. It turns out that the math that a child knows when he or she begins kindergarten is highly predictive of how well that child will do later in school. Math actually may help children develop some basic cognitive skills that are useful and helpful in all subject areas. But most of children's mathematical development really is dependent upon their environment. Uh, it's very important that as parents interact with their children that they provide that, that sort of rich vocabulary in mathematics. The easy part is that children come naturally confident. You can start playing math games with kids almost from the very beginning. Sometimes when I'm talking to parents, I ask them kind of a trick question, and what I ask is, do you think that your preschool can do division? And I'll say, okay, your two children are sitting on the rug and there's six trains between them. Do you think, when they're starting to play, that they will know whether those six trains are shared equally? And then the parent will say, well, of course. You know, that's very important to them. I said, well, that's sort of like division. I'm not talking workbooks and flashcards. I'm talking developmentally appropriate activities that really allow a child to play and have fun, making triangles out of pipe cleaners, jumping around a number line, building towers or roads with blocks. When you're in the car pointing out shapes, asking them, you know, let's see how many um, triangles we can find. Uh, how many sides does the stop sign have? Uh, meaningful experiences with children is, is probably the most important thing that you can do around mathematics with your child. There is some inherent satisfaction uh, and pride that comes with solving a puzzle or doing a math problem successfully and it is self-motivating. So just that experience of doing math and feeling successful and solving problems is all children need, both to have self-confidence and to enjoy engaging in math. Opening up that world to children, I think, is a kind of the first step in a lifelong love of mathematics and numbers. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Five. Yep. Six. You got it. Six. Six. It has six sides. <laughs>